All right, so now that school, of course, is back for some students, we have a couple districts that are starting now. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about things in the classroom that are pretty big this yeah. E year. Yeah, artificial intelligence on top of mind for all different uh, types of industries right now. But in the classroom, a lot of controversy involved with this. We're starting to see this popping up inside those classrooms. Yeah, and we've seen students using programs like ChatGPT to cheat on essays, Oof. and teachers catch on pretty quickly as well. Yeah, there are programs where they can find this, mm -hmm. but some educators making the case that AI could actually be a useful tool to help many students get started on their assignments. So now that brings us to our topic here where we want to share our three cents on this. Should AI be used in the classroom or of course for homework and to what capacity and if not where do we draw the line for technology use in the classroom it's such a huge part of the student experience now. Yeah. As much as I feel like the teachers are able to catch on, I feel like there's also smarter versions of AI that are coming, making it more difficult for the teachers to do their job. So this is taking away from some of their focus and everything. So I think we need to extremely limit AI in the classrooms and we need to tread carefully because we don't know what work is being done by an actual student and what's being done by computers. I think it's similar to, you know, when you're solving a math equation, you can now Google the answer to so much right. of math's basics, but you still are obligated to know how to come how to, to that answer it. yourself. Yeah. So I feel like it's kind of one of those situations where should students still know how to write well, you know, critical reasoning, those skills, yes. But should they be aware that these programs exist mm -hmm. probably as well mm -hmm. and I, I hear that a lot of um, these programs cost a lot so for districts they're investing in them mm -hmm. to catch this as it advances because the technology is changing so much so every day so they need to keep up with it to be able to bust these yeah. students if they do get caught using it because there are a lot of rules in place mm -hmm. that for now um, that need to I think evolve with yeah. the but I don't know the technology. I, don't, I can't even keep up. I don't know yeah, how right. far they can get with this. But we can't turn a blind eye to it, though, yeah, because yeah. honestly, a lot of these kids, they may be working in the AI yeah. field when yeah. they graduate and it's going to be that become that big of a deal in our society. Um, so understanding how it works and the positive benefits of it and how it could help in careers, mm -hmm. I think is important to teach them but not allowing it to take over the classroom. Because right. like a may... blanket no seems hard, Yeah. right? I mean, sure, I think for a lot of teachers, they'd love to say, absolutely not. Right. Don't Google it, don't AI it. I, I don't know, but that seems impossible. It almost requires that teachers maybe stray away from essays that are turned in mm -hmm. and more toward discussions in class. Mm -hmm. And, True. you know, yeah. uh, maybe students writing on paper yeah. in yeah. class. Not yeah. copy pasting. Right. Exactly, <laughs> right. because Which you just don't know. Places like the bar exam, they have mm -hmm. a whole handwritten written section right. yep. with pen and paper totally. uh, that allows you to just think on your own and have to write on your own yeah. and not copy as much. Yep. Uh, but I don't think we should go back to microfiche days. No, we don't need that no. In the library. Yeah. No, Evan doesn't even remember <laughs> no. those. Did you ever have to do that? No. Um, I do remember that, <laughs> though. Researching like floppy papers, yeah. by the way. Let's not go backwards. <laughs> do that. I think we, let's not go backwards, but let's not go too far forwards yeah. until we or understand the technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not too exactly. fast. All right, stay with us. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back with your local headlines and your updated forecast.